Hey everybody, today I am going to show you how to properly install and remove your bearings uh, using a couple different tools and a few different styles of wheels. Let's get started with the Flat Outrageous wheel. This wheel has a nylon hub which makes getting the bearings in and out really, really easy. Uh, for this job I like the Powerdyne bearing stick. Simply push the bearing into place, you're good. To remove, put a little pressure twist it right out. The same situation with the Radar Energy, which is an outdoor wheel. This has a small hub in the inside here. Bearing stick works great again. Push the bearing into place, and when you want to pull it out, a little pressure back, pulls it right out. Now let's take a look at the Radar Bullet. This wheel has a urethane hub, uh, which is a little bit less flexible than the nylon hubs we were using on the first two wheels. Bearing stick still works well for this, but it's a little bit harder to get the bearing in, sits so tighter in there. Also because of the lack of flex, it takes a little bit more pressure to get the bearing out. Nevertheless, the bearing stick, really simple for this application. So that pretty much covers the non-metal hubs. The bearing stick works great for most of those things. The bearing stick does not work so great on a metal hubbed wheel because you're not going to have any flex on the race of that wheel. The race is where the bearing sits in there. So you wouldn't be able to pry that thing out with the stick. That is where the bearing press comes into play. These things are a great investment. Good to have. They work on all of these wheels, but they're particularly effective uh, with aluminum hub wheels. You take this diamond, for example. Always take a little bit of bearing lube and just put that right into the bearing seat. And what that's going to do is it's going to make the bearing easier to go in. It's also going to make the bearing easier to get out later. Uh, we're going to open this guy up. Just kind of set the bearing in place there. Sometimes they'll go right in. Set the other one on top. Drop it there. Some presses come with a little doodad. Set that guy in place. That helps keep even pressure on the bearing, make it easier to put in there. Close that up, press it into place, and you're all set. To remove the bearing, the other side of the press, this guy's got a little bit of a hook on it here. Hook the back of the bearing, pull the bearing out. Same with the front. Easy. One last thing, when it comes to removing your bearings, do not use the axle of your skate. Don't be tempted to do that. You can damage the threads. Uh, when it comes to getting the bearing out, um, do not use a screwdriver. Uh, when it comes to getting the bearing in, do not use a hammer. No, don't do it. Uh, do not use uh, these things here uh, or any of these guys here. This is, uh, that's not doing any good. Do not use a saw, scissors. This thing here, don't use any of this stuff. Stick with the basic tools, bearing press and bearing stick. Can't go wrong. Hey, I hope you found this video to be informative. Uh, for more fascinating videos of this nature, go to the Radar Wheels YouTube channel. You can also find us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Radar Wheels. And for now, from Los Angeles, I'm Joshua Conan Fenning saying adios.